Hey folks, uh, this is going to be segment number two of our pool equipment renovation. This is the DC uh, pump, a DC electric motor, uh, the pump for the pool. Uh, this is what's going to run off the solar. It's a direct connection. There's nothing in between it and the solar panels. Uh, so whatever juice the solar panels are sending to the pump, it'll run at a variable speed. So it'll run really slow and you know, right up to its maximum speed. Uh, the pump, that, that's the, I guess the, the DC pump is the whole thing that makes all this work. Um, and this is a brush pump. Uh, you'll hear a lot of talk about brushless DC motors. Um, they're nice. The problem is, is you need a controller for them. Because they don't have magnets, they need the controller to tell them what to do. And it just, it's a lot more expense, and I just didn't want to mess with it. Uh, a set of brushes for this is 13 bucks if you have to replace them every couple of years. Not a big deal. And we did make a lot of progress today on the actual solar panels. So if you remember the first segment, there was just a post standing there. Now I got the panels mounted. Um, it's a bit of a chore. There's a lot of parts and pieces and a lot of brackets and nuts and bolts and a lot of adjustments. Once you get it all uh, get it all together, it's actually quite slick. That's how it, the mount goes to the post. You have these upright brackets that hold the panels. Here's all your electrical connections from the panels. This is for grounding the panels. So all this has to be bonded right back to the uh, disconnect box, which is where the ground rod is, so all this will be bonded back to there. Uh, now you probably notice there's only two panels here, and I have three. The reason for the three panels is uh, they're each 250 watts, so 250 watts times three is 750, which equals one horsepower. So you're replicating a one horsepower pump which is what we currently have over there. Uh, is it necessary to have three? I'm starting to think probably not. This is a, a lot of uh, solar panel here. But I have the third one. There, obviously there was no way it was going to go onto this post mount. I don't know what the heck I was thinking that it was even possible. But uh, I have some leftover parts and pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm actually going to mount that third panel right on the block wall here. This block wall uh, gets sun two-thirds of the day. Uh, and it'll actually make a nice sweep here where I'll pick up, you know, pick up the sun over a bigger part of the day by having a, the third panel over here on the wall. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. The next step of this is uh, electrician is coming on Tuesday to run the power for the heat pump. I gotta run my power from the solar panels now to the disconnect box and I have to ground or bond as they say everything. Get that third panel mounted and uh, we'll keep this project going. Uh, again uh, it's just a, a learning experience. Uh, all the little ins and outs here are hard to find you kind of just learn as you go but I'm pretty excited it's starting to look like something and I'm pretty confident it's all going to work well so stay tuned over and out